Okay, this is the last video in the algebra section of my ultimate revision guide to further maths GCSE. This is section 2.16, nth terms of linear and quadratic sequences. And what happens when the, when the n approaches infinity for one of these sort of sequences? What's the limiting value for that? Where does it, where does it go to? Um, not going to do linear because that's far too simplistic, stuff you should have been doing um, at much lower down the school. Um, if you're not sure about that, you can look that up. Um, let's look at this. This is uh, an interesting sequence question. And then we've got one with the going to infinity. And then we've got an, a quadratic sequence. And I'll show you the basic of that. And I'll also put a link down here to a video where I've done lots of examples of quadratic sequences. Okay, and if you want to go back to the index for algebra, you click on this button on YouTube. It'll take you back to the index for the algebra section. And any other questions I've done, uh, exam questions I've done that are based on uh, linear or quadratic sequences, I'll put in, in into this bar here. Okay, so let's start with this first one. The nth term of a sequence is this complicated thing. Which is the first? Which term in a sequence is the first one that has a negative value? Um, now you might be able to see this straight away. You might not. I would always suggest with this sort of thing is just to have a go, see what happens. So the first term would be when n is 1, so you'll have 7 minus 1 over 1 squared plus 1. So that's going to be 6 over 1 plus 1 is 2, so that's going to be 3. So that's the first term. The second term, I take it away, I'm going to get um, 7 minus 2, which is 5, over 2 squared, which is 4, plus 1, which is 5, so that's equal to 1. The third term um, is going to be, top number is going down by 1 each time, this is increasing, so this is going to be 3 squared is 9 plus 1 is 10. And hopefully, you, you could carry on writing these out, but you should see when is this going to be negative. It's only a, this bottom bit is never going to be negative, but this top bit is going to be negative when, um, n, reach, when, when n, n, reach, n reaches 7, it's going to be 0. So when n reaches 8, so it's going to be the 8th term. It's going to be the first negative one, because 7 take away 8 is negative 1, and that's going to make the whole thing negative. Work out the value of this term, so 7 take away 8, like I said, and 8 squared plus 1. So you've got minus 1 over 64 plus 165, so minus 165th will be the, first, the eighth term, the first negative one. Okay, so quite often when you're doing um, terms in sequence, just put the 1, 2, 3 until you get a feeling for what's going on. Work out the limiting value for this. Now when you're looking at limiting value when n approaches infinity, the thing you've got to realise is any sort of constant term, plus 1, plus 100, plus 1,000, this actually is not going to matter at all because it's going to be insignificant compared to 5 times infinity. You could again look at what happens as this number gets big. So if we just take an example, so m is 1,000. We've got 1,000 and then 5,000 plus 1, so 5,001. So what's that approaching? Well, that's approaching um, n over 5m because the plus 1 is insignificant. And n divided by 5, and divide top and bottom by n, you get 1 over 5. So it's approaching 1 fifth as n becomes closer and closer to infinity. So with these sort of questions, you just ignore any pluses or minuses because they're going to be insignificant to the multiplying and, and the n getting bigger and bigger. Work out the value, uh, the formula for the nth term of the quadratic. Um, if your title is a quadratic, that helps you a lot. Um, but if you didn't know what, what sequence it was and you had to work it out in the first place, if you look at the differences, um, oops, 6, 8, 10, and then these going up by 2. That's a standard thing for quadratic sequence. If it goes up by 2, that means it's actually based on the, foot, the square numbers 1, 4, 9, 16. If it goes up by 4, that would mean it's based on twice the square number, so 2n squared. That's n squared. And then you look at the differences between that. What's going on here? What have I got to do to add to n squared to make this sequence? Well, I've got to add, let's just write this down here, 4, 7, um, 10, and 13. So I've got to add this sequence to n squared to make the sequence I want. So this sequence I want is going to be n squared plus this sequence. This is a nice linear sequence that's going up by 3. So you should know this is based on the 3 times table, 3, 6, 9, 12. So that's 3n. So this sequence that we want is 3n plus 1. It's 1 more than 3 times table. So this sequence in here is going to be our n squared plus this extra sequence 
3n plus 1. So that's the nth term of this quadratic sequence. And that's pretty much what you've got to do every time. Um, I'll put a link down here to a video I've done on, quite a popular video I've done on quadratic sequences that will tell you how to use this method each time, do a few examples in case you haven't, you're not used to it or you haven't seen it before. Okay, so that's um, linear and quadratic sequence. That's the conclusion of the algebra section. Um, quite, it's the biggest section in, in the revision guide. So uh, if you made it to the end of it, you've done very well.